Welcome to the Esoteric Icon. We'll be using two decks of cards, a red deck and a blue deck, and some dice. These dice I'm going to represent the spectator to make it all found a book book, so I haven't got a spectator here. I'm going to shake the dice three times just to prove to you they are throwing random numbers. Okay, random numbers. Now the spectator can choose the red deck or the blue deck, it's a completely free choice. So I'll say, if I shake an odd number, they've chose the red deck, okay? It's an odd number, so they've chose a red deck. So we ask them to place this deck in their pocket for a moment while we just carry on with this deck. Just take this deck out of the box, spare me a minute. That's all the cards. Now this is an unusual deck of cards because every card's been numbered on the back from 1 to 52. They've all got a different number on. Okay. And we'll also give this deck a bit of a mix up. So just bear with me while I give them a mix in. And we'll also give the cards a cut. And the spectator can even cut the cards as well so they might want to give the cards a cut. They could even give the cards a triple cut. Now this is probably best performed to two spectators. So you say to one spectator, I want you to think of a card, any card in the deck. I have got a spectator, so I'm going to use the dice to get a value of a card. Let's just shake the dice. So I've got a four, so the spectator's using a four. Now if I shake uh, an odd number, that'll be black. So it's an odd number, so black. So it's a four and it's a black card. If I shake another odd number, it'll be a spade. It's an odd number, so it'll be a spade. So it's a four of spades. So we'll look for the four of spades in this packet of cards. Okay, so the spectators choose the four of spades. And there it is there. Okay. Now you say to spectator number two, I want you to choose a card in an esoteric way. So what I want you to do, I want you to take a small packet off, off the deck, about a third, something like that. So say they take this many cards off, okay, and you ask them to count the cards. So they count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Okay, so they chose 13 cards. Now you say to them to make it up even more random, we've got two numbers that make up 13. We've got a 1 and a 3. So if we add them together, we get 4. So I want you to deal 4 cards and place the 4th card here. Now they've got 1, 2, 3, and they place the 4th card here. Now you could have chose any of these cards if you'd have cut differently. Any of these, okay? But you chose this one here. Now this card's got a number on the back and we'll have a look at what that number is. Number seven, a completely random number, okay? So spectator number one chose a four of spades and spectator number two chose the number seven in a completely random way. It could have been any one of these cards, any of these numbers, okay? They chose number seven. We'll just take this deck here and we'll just deal down to that card and see what happens, okay? So I give the blue deck to spectator number two or spectator number one, it doesn't make any difference. You ask them to deal six cards down onto the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you ask them to place the seventh card here. And you just show them the packet that the cards are totally mixed up okay now wouldn't it be totally amazing if this card here was matches this chosen card here at this position in this deck let's just have a look and it does it's the full of spades now i hope you like this and if you do i will leave a link down below in the description box where you can buy this trick over on penguin magic and I'll also leave a link down below in the description box to Joseph B's performance of this fantastic trick. He's a great creator of magic. I really like his stuff. Um, 
Thank you very much for watching. How about we cut the pack, huh?